Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a pot on Kier. We haven't played with this tank in ages, literally ages and I know it's not the most popular tank in the world of tanks and I would say many people probably dislike this vehicle as well just because this tank is not great uh, um, in the world of tanks. Let's get real, it is, it is just not awesome tank, right? I will show you uh, how popular that tank is uh, after this game and I will show you how in ratio is looking like and uh, fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's far away from being decent and it's far away from being awesome if I can say so, right? So we will talk about this later on. All in all, um, why uh, this tank is not that great nowadays? Uh, well, answer is relatively simple. Alpha damage is not that great of this vehicle. The penetration of this tank is very, very, very low overall, unfortunately. So in many cases, you need to spam the gold ammunition, in for, uh, unfortunately, in order to be a bit competitive and in order to punish enemies. Uh, standard penetration is 192 and 800 shell velocity, which is quite slow. Gold has 243 millimeters of penetration, so it's significantly better and the shell velocity is uh, as well like 20 or 18 percent higher as well, which is good thing, right? But once again, this tank doesn't have the armor. Um, well, you are not going to get penetrated frontally with high explosives from the tanks which doesn't have like 200 millimeters of penetration, right? But other than that, uh, it is it is just not a great vehicle, uh, truth to be told, fellas. Plus, on top of that, since this vehicle is so weak, it doesn't even have a pref much making as well. So, for example, um, Alpine Tiger or Vazza 111, it has a pref much making. This one doesn't. So, this is very important thing to highlight and to and to say, right? But all in all, whenever you are shooting the APCR ammunition, this tank is not looking that bad, fellas. Honestly, it doesn't look that horrible and it doesn't look like it is the most unplayable tank in the world of tanks. Uh, overall, I will show you the rating in the index page in a moment, but before that, uh, before that, let's try to focus on this game and let's try to make it work. I am trying to play as much budget way as possible by saying this I'm trying not to spam the gold ammunition left right and center and the main reason why am I doing so is I'm trying to do my best to simply play as cheap as possible. Um, we lately started the challenges to mark the tanks without gold ammunition, which is quite nice thing and it is a kind of enjoyable thing as well. So people can see uh, it is actually possible to be uh, somehow competitive um, without, without the full gold ammunition or something, right? So that's pretty nice thing. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have the type who is playing over there and we have the minus 7000 HP. Okay, let's talk this game. I would love to say so, fellas, this game is good now. Unfortunately, matchmaking is looking quite horrible for us. I'm not going to lie. Um, the main reason being why am I saying so is uh, we are fighting against the tier 9s. Well, luckily, against not against the tier 10s, right? But tier 9s have obviously uh, better guns and more armor than, uh, uh, than the tier 8s. And in the same time, once again, uh, it is kind of making us to think three times more if we would do if um, we wouldn't um, if we would play against the tier 6s as an example and against the tier 6 even the armor can uh, do some good things you know you can bounce one in, in a while if you are lucky so that's a positive thing but you cannot expect to have a great matchmaking all the time not in world of tanks fellas not in world of tanks okay I want to stay somewhere around this area, the main reason being is um, I want to support our guys if they are going to get overrun by the Udes and Type 61 and I have no doubts whatsoever they will. So let's prepare the gold ammunition as well and let's simply wait for it. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Type 61 is going around, oh such a sneaky bugger. Such a sneaky bugger, fellas. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting, my man. Very interesting. Arta is trying to bang us as well. Very far away from being ideal game for Arta either, right? So, look at this. 
we have literally a couple of shots in this game, right? And skill, may I ask a question? Do you feel bad about this performance? No. Skill, but for real. I mean, look in, into your score. What are you even talking about? How dare you not to feel bad? Fellas, not in every game you can be the hero of the day and the king of the hill. It's just, it doesn't work this way, fellas. It doesn't work this way. So since the situation is not that great for us, right? Since um, we are a bottom tier in this kind of situation, um, since our team is so much weaker than enemy team is, uh, once again, it is fine. And you are getting used for this, you know? I play, I am playing World of Tanks for literally almost 11 years overall, right? Um, and I've seen it all. And nowadays, speaking about the balance on the game, in many, many situations, fellas, the balance of the game, what balance? What balance? Fellas, what, what balance? Yeah, it just how it goes. So, all in all, we cannot cry too much about this. I am feeling pretty good, even though the things went south pretty damn quickly. All in all, right? Uh, we managed to get at least visible 1.3 thousand damage, but we blind shot at Progetto for like 150 hit points, if I remember this correctly. So we should have one and a half thousand damage. But once again, I understand why people do not like this tank. It is very, very old school tank. Overall, people do not really like Pershing that much. And this is kind of weaker Pershing in, in a way. So looking into our score, we did 1.7 thousand damage, 2 kills, 200 assisting damage. And we are scoring very high in the scoreboard overall. Speaking by the experience, we are second place by the damage. Fourth place, considering with what kind of tank we are playing, that's very good. And we made a bit of the profits as well, which is great. Uh, moving on next, now I really want to show you one thing, fellas. Speaking about the popularity of this tank, this tank is the seventh from the bottom. So people are not playing that much. Plus on top of that, win ratio of this vehicle is kind of um, poopy. 45% uh, win ratio for a premium tank, it is horrible. Let's get real. But once again, it is extremely hard tank to play with. And I want to show you the ratings overall. Those are the ratings, fellas. If you are not familiar with the index page, please check the things out. Out, it might be very very useful for you and this could go very 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 well you can find everything from the equipment from the field modifications um, the crew setup expectation values for marks and so on check it out it is not a rocket science to do so uh, simply check out description or alternatively type in the google skill for l2 index and you will see everything so all in all, we have a bit better matchmaking in this kind of situation. We are fighting against the tier 8s, which is always nice and always welcome, all in all. So, this matchmaking definitely looks better. So, what do we want to do? We want to spank enemies trying to cross like this. We have good enough... Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have good enough... Um view range to spot the heavy tanks crossing or the tank destroyers crossing what we do not have though we do not really have the armor this is very important thing to say if i am if enemies are not able to penetrate us that means we are very very lucky and once again this is one of those tanks where you need to consider using more gold ammunition than with anything else and i know it is not the greatest thing for many of you. I know it is not the thing which you are in love with doing, right? But that's just simply the way of the game. You know, I, I would like to make the things up, but I am not here for that. I am here to, to spill the tea in the face and just to show you how the things are looking like. That's why you are seeing games... Uh, that's why you are seeing games like you did in the in the previous game you know it's not an excellent game but that's me trying to play the game and trying to do literally everything what i physically and possibly can that's about it so all and all let's see what do we have mm, let's see what do we have I'm trying to figure out, can I be aggressive over there or not? This is the question. That's what I am trying to do. Once again, not the simple thing, but we need to be patient. 
I wish to say with this tank we can go in front and bang everyone like we would do with a model 1 for example but it just doesn't work this way. This is not how the things are looking like with this vehicle. Okay, hear me out. What do we want to do? We want to hit this for once. The main reason why, because we want to craft a better angle. And we should be able to penetrate him in the side. Pay attention to what I am doing. This is very, very great tip. You see, I can shoot through this gap. And for him to shoot me, he needs to he needs to hit like literally a pixel over there, which is which is way harder to do than for me to shoot when I am near the pixel, if you know what I mean. So, let's see. Any mistakes? Buddy, any mistakes? Progetto! Progetto! We cannot win one on one against the Progetto, so I can't. I don't even consider um, being too aggressive over there. I do not really want to. Oh, I do not really want to make too much pressure uh, like this either. It is just simply not worth it in my humble opinion. And at this point, we are waiting for the other shot, right? Whenever he will try to cross like this. Okay. It did not work it as well as I thought. I forgot to check do I have a great angle or not. Unfortunately, in this kind of situation, we did not have that great of an angle, so I can blame myself for being a silly goose. Okay, speaking about the silly gooses, mistakes were made. Progetto, thank you very much. We have 1000 already, which is good. It's not epic by any shape on a or any form, but it is good. It's better than nothing. And now we are trying to get a bit more involved here and simply eliminate him from the game if possible, right? I see our team is way stronger in the heavy line and they are going in front like there is no tomorrow while saying blah 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 and that's fine. We are going to do some bread, um, we are going to take some bread crumbs from the corner. So, this guy is dead, he is obviously a tourist, but you know, I don't really mind. Tourist, not tourist, you took one for the team, unlucky. And all and all, this gentleman should get effed as well. Now, pay attention at this. There is a scorpion who is sitting here in the back, that's great. So, all we want to do... We want to make sure we are going to spot this gentleman sitting around this area. Although it is not as simple as I initially thought it is going to be. So what I am doing, I am relocating for now just like so. And I will try to spot the gentleman sitting here. Let's see. Score is already better than in the previous game, I would say. I would say score is already better than in the previous game, but in the same time map is better in a way and matchmaking is definitely better in a way, so not a big surprise. By the way, the gun handling of this tank is not uh, it is not that bad. I would say for a medium tank it is uh, um, it is kind of average gun handling, right? And that's good fellas, and this is a good thing. Obviously it's not Progetto, obviously it is not T44. But, um, but it works. And if it works, it works. Then it is a good stuff. Okay. Initial cleaning of enemies. I want to load the APCRs for the Model 1. Model 1 has a great, great, great armor. So I'm just simply trying to spank him once or twice before it's too late. Right? We want to get extra couple of shots. Nice. I am following him. Just because I have a suspicion we are going to get one more. Beautiful shot, very very nice, and we had a nice farming fiesta in this kind of game. Beautiful game. 2.9 thousand damage visible, 100 assisting damage. So still, can you have a great game with a pot on care? Sure you can. I like this tank. This tank is definitely my vehicle, and I enjoy playing with this vehicle myself. But I would never ever recommend this for a newer player by any shape or by any form or, or for a player who wants to actually play with a competitive tank, right? It's not horrible, it can work, it is fine, but it's far away for, from being perfect. So looking into all of this, we have quite a um, quite good game overall. Uh, we made uh, uh, quite a bit of profits, but let's look into the score. First class, we... Made 2.9 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage, which is good. We are third by experience, 
we are third by the damage and look against what tanks we were fighting. Uh, I'm speaking uh, who is um, above us, the Polish uh, defender and the um, double penetrator. So both of those gentlemen are strong mother truckers. And we made 117,000 profits, but keep this in mind, we had profits because of the reserves going, right? If you, if you would click here, I believe some people do not know they even have personal reserves. Those are the things which you want to use. It is very important especially um, whenever you are playing with a premium tank. So here you go, Patton Care in action. Let's go for one more. Okay, so the third battle, definitely not the map which I would love to play. It is Ehrfeld, it is a standard battle. So, all in all, what is the plan, what is the hope, and what is the dream? We want to play somewhere in the middle. Since this tank has a decent gun depression and decent view range, we should be able to uh, get um, some free shit and free some some free stuff overall, right? How do I like to start this game is I love playing in this position over there. You can go with some blind shots over there. You can spot overall some, um, some people trying to uh, be involved like the CBR is and you can make their life so much better. Um, I think I should use this night. So much better, fellas. So much better. Meanwhile, Progetto is thinking about getting involved. That's a mistake from Progetto. I tried to track him. Luckily, we did. That's good. 3, 2, 1. We want to track him once again. Tracking. Beautiful. If he doesn't have the double repairs, he is literally effed and he cannot do absolutely anything for this. And this is why you are taking this position in the first moment of the game, just for tourists like this. Um, Progetto thought he can be aggressive, but no, this is not the map for that. It's called you push, you lose. If you are trying to be aggressive in this map, you are not going to enjoy yourself. And in fact, you are going to regret your life choices quite heavily, if you would ask me. Meanwhile, we spotted the rev in the open field, so what that means for us, that means it is a farm. Meanwhile, we know the Sue is sitting here in the back, that's great information overall, so we are going to... Oh! Two guys sitting in the back. Okay, 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 because I see, I see! So, what we are going to do? We are crafting a better angle and we are trying to blind fire them. We will blind fire the living crap out of this bush. It is super important thing to say. Ooh, they're, big, uh, they're hitting the pixels like there is no tomorrow. Oh well. Now, very important thing to say, fellas. Speaking about the, uh, speaking about the tank armor, I believe you can clearly see that you cannot bounce shit unless you are extremely lucky. Uh, then you can buy a lottery ticket for yourself. But other than that, you know, you are not going to bounce sh for shit, fellas. You won't bounce absolutely anything. We know the Sue or what, whoever else sitting there, they have probably the Pinos on or something. That's why we are getting spotted every single time um, after we are shooting. So we need to be very, very smart in this kind of situation. And we need to simply uh, try to punish them once. Right? Blind fire escape. Blind fire escape. Blind fire escape. I wasn't getting spotted at this point. So that's uh, pretty good. And at this point, I think I will try to blind fire the living crap out of this position before it's too late. Right? So we are simply going like this with a high explosives and we are checking where the flying F this mother trucker is sitting at. This is very important thing to say. I will go for another blind shot just like so, unfortunately it is going so damn high so I cannot change absolutely anything. And once again we are just checking the bushes overall how the things are looking like. I'm aware we lost a lot of the hit points all and all, okay? Uh, it is not my first rodeo, I can see that um, clearly, but once again mistakes were made by me. I think I was a bit too aggressive in this kind of situation, at least that's what I want to believe. Meanwhile, I try to go for another blind shot here. Unfortunately, that is not a hit. Let's try to shoot someone here and let's relocate. Um, what should happen? The turtle is going either up like this or either he is pushing like this. Whatever he is doing, I do not want to face the turtle in front. It's just simply not what I want and not uh, what I am thinking about. Hell no. It is not what I want to do. So, 
In this situation, we are waiting until they will make pressure. That's all we can do in this situation. Once again, this map is called You Push You Lose. Mistakes will be punished heavily. There is a humongous uh, sniper schnitzel positions in this map. Um, starting from here, right? Shit on of the bushes, starting here, starting here, starting here. Make pressure like this, get banged like this. Um, make pressure like this, get banged like this. Make pressure like this, get banged like this. You know, wherever you are going, there is a crossfire pretty much. Um, so, in this map, you just simply need to be very patient. If you are not patient, you can cry in the corner and you can complain about the situation and how badly the things are going uh, and how badly um, this map is looking like overall. Right? It's just how it goes. I am here to say that straight in the face. It is very, very hard to make pressure in this map and maybe I would even go that far to say it is impossible to make pressure like this. I would even go like this and I would say it is impossible to make pressure. He's not paying attention to the max map, that's great, we just tracked him, he should use his repairs, definitely he did, not a big surprise. Meanwhile, we are paying attention to what is happening here, Rev is looking at us, we are trying to snap him, beautiful snap and we are dead. Okay, no complaints, no regrets fellas, all good. So. All in all, what do we have? We have 1.7 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage. Let's teleport into the scoreboard and let's see what this tank brought for us overall. Right? Let go. And we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, with a defeat, no blind shots hit, which is very sad, but it happens. Typical battle in the airfield, unfortunately. So, all in all, we made 37,000 profits. It was 5 minutes a game. All in all, we've scored a second by the experience. We scored a third by the damage. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's the game overall. Definitely nothing too important and definitely nothing too interesting overall. So, all in all, we played with this tank for 2.1 thousand damage and 400 assisting damage. Do I think this tank deserves the position for people not to play with it? Honestly, yes. Do I think this tank uh, deserves a bit more from, from our gaming side? I would say yes. I think this tank uh, is crying for buffs and this tank is saying, please buff me daddy. We're gaming, you forgot about Patton Korea. <laughs> This is what I think. So, all in all, thank you very much for watching. I hope you were very, very well entertained. Uh, I hope you are enjoying yourself together with us. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.